So in a pretty interesting turn of events, looks like Bandai Tamash Nations is throwing their hat in the ring by giving us SH Figure Arts Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse figures. And the first ones that they've shown off so far are Miles and Gwen. I was pretty excited at first when I heard about this news earlier today because this is a really cool cool idea for them to hop on this uh, you know Spider-Verse series. I don't know why I never thought that they would jump on it because you know uh, Tamash Nations does a lot of Spider-Man stuff. But I guess because we already have a bunch of Marvel Legends and Sentinel and Moffat stuff that I didn't think another company would even attempt it. You know, it's Hot Toys too. But uh, these don't look bad. I do think one looks a little bit worse than the other, and I'll talk about that in a second. But the important information to go over is that these are uh, slated to be released uh, this summer in May. The pre-orders are dropping January 12th. I'm not exactly sure what times yet. Uh, the price before shipping when I converted it, uh, it's 8,800 yen, which is going to be about 65, 66 US dollars. And then tack on the different shipping prices based on where you're going to get this from. Um, and some domestic sites already do that for you and then they add their own shipping. That's going to be pretty close to like 85 to 90 bucks, unfortunately. So these are going to be a little steep. But based on what they said on the website, these are not web exclusive. Some people are, have been concerned that these are. It says retail release. Now, I could be completely wrong and these could be just web exclusives. But usually it will say on their listings on the Tamashi website if it is a web exclusive or a retail release. So take that information as you will. I will leave... Uh, the links in the description of that information down in the description below as well as um, you know the image sources of course and stuff from their Instagram okay now I'm actually going to move on and talk about the actual figures I'm going to start with Miles because I think Miles is the one I have a couple of problems with and from what I've seen uh, others do as well first of all though the posing on this does look really nice in shots like this uh, I will say you know in other shots proportions are a little weird here though they don't look very weird at all this looks like a very cool looking miles i think the texturing on here is really cool you can see where the head and the you know forearms and shoulders have that texturing then there's smooth texturing on the lower parts of the arms and around the legs too you can even see what's going on at the bottom of the feet so that's pretty cool and it comes with a web line as well this image here you have some different heads you have a more normal looking head i'm not sure if these are uh replaceable eyes like the uh, sh figure arts deadpool these could be alternate heads not entirely sure but uh you know you also get some ideas of you know how it looks from the front of the body and i think the shoulders are the biggest thing that throws me off on this figure i think it looks a little too wide in the shoulders the chest might be a little bit too big we haven't seen that much of them yet, just a couple trailers. I do think that Miles is built a little bit larger in his chest in the new movie, but I don't think this much based on this figure. But you can see just the different, you know, expressions on this figure. You know, one pretty normal wide eyes and a very wide eye and one that has a wider eye. Again, I'm not sure if these eyes are interchangeable or not. That would be cool if it is. Uh, we also have um, unmasked alternate heads, as you can see here does not look like these are different face plates these look like completely different heads not sure if the sculpting in the hair is all that great maybe the lighting might be making these not look that good the sculpting doesn't look bad i should say though but the faces here they do look like miles based on the trailers this is a really nice looking miles um look on the face and i think it even is a competitor with how sentinel does it because sentinel i don't own the moff x one but sentinel's unmasked miles head is fantastic this one also looks really great too but you can see in the chest i don't know how well this has come through in the trailers yet we could see the movie and these patterns are accurate but i didn't think that there would be these smooth almost super dark gray patterns underneath the spider logo you know also around the texturing as you see there uh you know going from his chest to his stomach um so that was a little weird to see and in some images it also looks a little bit too bright or a, no, i wouldn't say bright but a lighter color than it should like this image here uh I, this is the one where i think the shoulders look the worst when it comes to how large they are i don't know if this is the actual posing that the person has done here you know the photographer or if this is actually how it's gonna look uh it, it looks a little weird to me the shoulders at least and the legs look really really skinny i know that spider-verse has a very distinct art style 
Uh, I just think that the proportions are a little weird on this thing, though. And I'm wondering how well this will stand, too, with these pretty thin legs uh, that we have here. Only time is going to tell, though. I think that the texturing, again, on this does look really nice. The separation of colors, you can see detail in that separation of colors. You know, the, re the reds, the darker grays, and the black area. Uh, it does look really nice, I, I will admit. It's just, again, proportions-wise is a little bit concerning. And it does look like we're going to get a uh, different neck piece. So that way we have exposed skin for the neck. And then we'll interchange the neck piece to have the, the, wholly masked, uh, the fully masked uh, look, I should say. Okay, with that rambling done, now we're moving on to Gwen, which is the one I favorite the most here, actually. I think this Gwen looks fantastic. I think a lot of the posing here and proportions, as well as the sculpting and detail, all that looks really nice. Uh, again, not entirely sure how well they translated it here because, you know, in a 2D form, I know that there's a lot of like this, though. I'm not entirely sure what it was called, like the pop art style, where there's like a little bit of like dots similar to a comic book and i don't know that that's what they're doing here or if this is actually texturing somehow i'm not entirely sure what their process is on making these exact uh detailed decisions on these figures but gwen here overall still looks fantastic whether she had these patterns or not on the suit i still think she would have looked really good this is an unmasked head here which looks fantastic. It looks like it's coming right out of the film, honestly. That is a fantastic likeness to how it, uh, Gwen looks in the movie. Um, I don't know if there's any proportion issues here. I think just how they had to sculpt the thigh cut for the thigh swivel, that could look a little too blocky, but it doesn't look too bad. They do that with a, a decent amount of their other SH Figure Arts figures, and it's not too bad most of the time. I do think that the uh, the shoes actually too, <laughs> the shoes have really nice detail and it looks like also pretty good articulation there as well. So I'm really digging the Gwen. They did a really great job with how uh, this looks overall. Then we have her different heads. So with her uh, you know, her masked heads, she really just comes with, and you, you also saw she came with a alternate down piece for her hood, but a wider eye uh, head here as well as uh, squinkier eyes uh so that is pretty cool with miles because those eyes are protruding that's what makes me think those are interchangeable eyes they're not like that with this figure so you can tell these are different heads entirely uh either way the, the, and you get an idea of some of the texturing again and the uh the overall suit it still looks really nice i think there's actual um sculpted web lines in the hood as well from what i've seen i got another pose of her here and i do believe she's also going to come with a web as well I have to double check some of the number of accessories, but you know, of course they'll come with different hands, you know, like wall crawling hands, whipping hands, fists, and then web holding hands, hopefully. And they'll each probably come with their own web. This figure is the one that I, I think I am going to pre-order both, but this is the one I'm going to favorite the most, if I'm being honest. And I, before I get, get a little bit close to the end of the video, I just want to show off the unmasked head again. You see that different hood piece there. That is a really fantastic head sculpt. I don't know if it's going to come with any alternate faces. This one, I'm looking towards the shaved part of her head. It does look like, that could be just sculpted detail, but it does look like maybe she will have a different face plate option, but I could be wrong on that front. These figures will apparently also come with these really cool bases. I think the bases look fantastic on these. They're different colors for each of the characters, and they're these circular bases, very similar to the, like, I think, like, the 2020 and 2021 SDCC uh, Dragon Ball bases, where they're more circular. These also remind me of Mezco bases, too. Um, but you have uh, bendable, uh, you know, bending neck, adjustable posing bases there, uh, and different ports, as you see. And it does have printing of uh, Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse on there with their respective... Uh, spider logos these are really sick these are fantastic bases these are really cool i would i kind of wish they they would sell the bases on their own so i can just buy them if i didn't want to buy the figures but i do think i want to get the figures last but certainly not least they did tease that they're they were thinking of making well we won't know until we see the official progress why i'm saying it but most likely yes we are going to be getting 
uh, Spider-Man 2099 because of this logo here. I'm wondering what other Spider-Men we could get in this series. You know, we're supposed to have Peter B. Parker coming back again. There's a good number of other Spider-Man characters that uh, are featured in the film that we could keep getting. I can't even think of them right now. We're going to be here all day if I do. But 2099 might pick this one up instead of the marvel legends one if you guys saw those leaked marvel legends images uh, i know that they were trying to translate those marvel legends figures as best they can from the spider-verse uh you know art style but those marvel legends figures don't look all that great to me these look you know a little bit iffy in some areas as well but i think 2099 in the sh figure arts line is going to be really fantastic so that's, that's my overall thoughts and just giving you some uh, images here that they released on their websites and their Instagram. So Miles is the more rough looking one for me, if I'm being honest. It's mostly the proportions and so, I, if I see the movie and these textures are accurate, I'll, I'll eat a hat. But um, uh, the texturing, it looks good, but other details, I was like, oh, that kind of throws me off that. Why does it look like that? But the unmasked heads on Miles are fantastic. Gwen is really fantastic looking. I have very little problems with how they have done the Gwen figure here, and it looks really great. Uh, I gave you all the information earlier again, but I'll do it one more time. Jul uh, I keep saying July, but it's a January 12th pre-order date dropping this year in May. 8,800 yen, which is going to be around 65, 66 bucks before shipping. And uh, that's, I, I assume it's going to be a retail, uh, you know, retail release and not a web exclusive based on what they're saying on the website we'll have to wait and find out and i'll try to make an update as best i can okay so what are your thoughts on these new spider-man across the spider-verse sh figure arts figures do you like them do you not like them leave your thoughts down in the comments below who else would you like to see in this particular spider-verse line from sh figure arts let me know down in the comments below as well thanks again for watching please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already follow me on instagram for more content over there and i'll see you guys later